Hey, it's Ronan, your accordion teacher from Accordion Love, and I have a super exciting video today. Uh, there's a song uh, called Son Histoire that I heard almost 20 years ago today for the first time, and I very recently rediscovered it. And today, it's not a, quite a lesson, it's not a performance, it's an analysis of the song. I want to show you why I think this is a perfect accordion song. It's a perfect song. Uh, obviously, you can have opinions whether you like the song or not. To me, this is the epitome of beautiful accordion playing. And we'll take a look at the reason. I have a tutorial for the song and sheet music in the lesson on accordionlove.com. This isn't that. Uh, I'll be showing you the chords and things here, but this is more of a an explanation of what's happening behind the scenes, what the accordion player is doing. Um, yeah, let, let's get to it. Uh, I'll leave a link to the song in the description. I have it up here. Let, let's listen. I'll pause and explain what I'm hearing. So it's a muted accordion. Uh, what I mean by muted, the left hand the left hand is soft. The left hand is not right. That that punchiness isn't there. They're using a a small set of reeds, let's call it. And the right hand sounds like there's a casotto, like a tone chamber. It sounds it's it sounds like it's a single set of reeds. It might just be the clarinet, the middle reed. Maybe a musette, maybe the two sets of reeds, but it sounds like it's being a bit muted. That's fine. Anyways, really beautiful intro. We'll see those chords throughout the whole song. D minor, G minor, E to A. One, four, two, five. Those chords continue, but what's changing now is the support that the accordion has provided. It's no longer playing melody. It stopped doing the to give weight to the vocals. I'm going to switch to just my single reed clarinet. Now what it's doing is a legato technique on right hand accompaniment. So I have a section on accordion love called accompanying voice. The right hand could do this, da -da 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 -da, ba -da -da. could do the chord voicings as a pa pa, ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da. but if we listen, he's doing a legato technique where the accordion player is playing legato. Still a chord, but connected. It's not, it's Right? Maybe even with the left hand, instead of just... It sounds like it's... Let's listen. So the chords are still being split up, right? The chord voicing. We could hit a chord full on. La da 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 ba da da. If you look at my lesson on how to accompany vocals, uh, like I did for the Beatles, the Beatles do it upside down from top to bottom, right? Alexis HK's accordion player here plays it from bottom to top, right? Da 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 da. Not but from down to up. Let's keep listening. I, I, I discussed the actual technique in the lesson, but let's keep listening. Right, long notes. The, the trides are starting to be broken up. Up until now, we've had... Mm. 
now it's happening is we're taking those chords, the chords change, and he's breaking them up. One, two, three. Right? We're still quiet. We're still doing background chords. The, the accordion isn't playing. He's playing the F to B flat. It's a beautiful chord progression. Uh, so. Um, tap to do. Do, do, da, da. Right? He's doing the same chords, F major, just like we practice in our 15 minutes of practice. F major to the B flat, G major to the C major. Sing chords as we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Ba 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 da 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 ba 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 He keeps going up to B and then to E. Ba 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 da But instead of doing he breaks them up. Right? Let's listen. So he's up here. And again, you don't need to know the notes of the song. It helps. The sheet music's there. But you need to know the chords. F to B flat. How many ways can you do that? It's the practice of changing chord voicings. I could do... I could do... I could do... Right? Da 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 we can go up like he's doing. We could break it up and go down. Da 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 da. Let's go up now. Da 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 da. Beautiful choice. Now uh, let's go to the chorus. Oh, back to verse. Is the chorus. And the accordion's going back to ta da 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 it's a bit more flowy. That tone chamber. Oh. And her voice is just perfect. Over, we're back to the verse, back to the beginning of the song. The song structure is beautiful accordion intro, male voice over the verse, keep going, the female voice gets a chance, back to male voice, last verse is female voice, and then a beautiful harmony. Uh, I might, same thing with the accordion. Oh, 
Back to the male voice. I'm gonna fast forward. Female voice. We're gonna see the male voice come in in harmony. Here we go. Beautiful harmony. Oh, and it's beautiful. It, it, it's perfect. It's perfect. Obviously, there, there are a few perfect songs in the world. I think this is one of them. That's what you do when you accompany voice. This is such a good example of different techniques of accompanying voice using the accordion. The bass never comes in, a guitar never comes in, a flute never comes in. Alexis HK has other examples on this album um, where there are other instruments, specifically an upright bass. I think there's a beautiful tin flute or an Irish flute coming in and accordion and you could see those instruments interplay the entire time the accordion knows exactly where to be in terms of volume right even when the vocals are at their peak the accordion stays underneath them. The accordion is just there to support the voice. Um, the accordion never turns on and says la 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 The accordion never speaks up. The accordion melody never comes out except for the beginning and then the ending as bookends to do that little melody. That... And even then, it doesn't dominate with a big left hand. It stays quiet. Yeah. It's the vocals that are... The ending. Beautiful. Again, an example of not overdoing it. Our instrument, the accordion, can overwhelm so easily. I know how to overwhelm very easily. You could tell when I do the loop pedal. Let's put in a flute and clappers and glockenspiel. And there's a beauty in that too. But what Alexis HK's accordion player does so well is just to stay underneath and letting the voice shine. And that's beautiful. The accordion is the third voice in the song. But the accordionist does such a good job of just doing the sticking to the basics chords in their voicings playing them legato and and triads that are broken and marry that with beautiful voices and you have what I consider to be a perfect song. If you want to learn the song and get the sheet music and I teach it to you note by note and we look at really the techniques uh, in detail, uh, head on over to accordionlove.com. There's a free three-day trial. I hope you enjoy this song, um, hopefully as much as I do, if not more. The whole album is great. Um, yeah, check it out. I hope it's available. Uh, it is on Spotify. Enjoy.